हिस्ट्री ऑफ बेलग्रोड स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी तो इसके लिए पूरी वीडियो अवेलेबल है जो आप अच्छे से देख पाएंगे एक एक चीज कि कब क्या क्या कब कब बना है I am in Belgorod. It is the capital city of the Belgorod region, an area of southwest Russia. And this is Belgorod State National Research University, which was founded 140 years ago and was one of the first Russian educational institutions to train teachers. Today, it is not only a classic, but also a federal research university. It is the largest educational and cultural center in the region. 25,000 students study here, and more than 2,000 are foreign students from 76 countries. The university has a number of campuses in Belgorod, and every campus is quite remarkable in its own right. This is the main academic building, which accommodates six institutes and two departments. The university offers degrees in engineering, medicine, law, journalism, economics, linguistics, and other specialisms. Another university campus is situated in Studentskaya Street, in the northern part of the city. It is the first campus and was built in 1966 for Belgorod Pedagogical Institute. Thirty years later, in 1996, the Pedagogical Institute became a classic university. This is where the seventh institute of the university is. It's the teacher training college. And here also is the alley commemorating the Russian Nobel Prize winners in literature. Another monument, one to Josip Brodsky, will soon be added to the Russian Writer's Memorial, which already features Mikhail Sholokov, Boris Pasternak, Ivan Bunin and Alexander Solzhenitsyn. It is the university's contribution to the Open Air Museum of Belgorod, which hosts a considerable number of sculptural and architectural monuments, located in different parts of the city, reflecting its history. We are now at the monument to Prince Vladimir, who converted Russia to Christianity. It is located on a commanding hilltop, with a panoramic view of the historical part of Belgorod. As you can see, over the years, the city has expanded considerably to the north and to the south. The historical part of Belgorod is situated on the territory of three fortresses, which served as important outposts of the Moscow state, the distant foundation of Belgorod Fortress. The fortress was founded in 1596 by the decree of Tsar Fyodor I of Russia, the son of Ivan the Terrible, and the last Tsar of the Rurik dynasty. Most historians believe that the name Belgorod, which translates as White City, comes from the vast deposits of chalk in this area. Over there and there, where the chalk hills are visible, were two fortresses dating back to the time of the Russian Tsars. It is truly amazing how unique the chalk deposits in this land are. They grace the landscape with their white slopes. But the name of the city comes from a different source. In ancient times, the word white meant clean and free. It is quite possible that the city was not named after the chalk hills, but as a symbol of the freedom from the Tatars, who used to devastate Russian territories. In the second half of the 17th century, a third fortress with Belgorod down in the valley between the hills. It consisted of the Belgorod Kremlin and clay huts, which were connected by the towering Nicholas Gate. Nowadays, this is the city center. The center of the city incorporates the residential blocks between Pushkin Street and Voxalnaya Street. During the reign of Peter the Great, the soldiers of the Belgorod Regiment proved their loyalty to the Tsar in the Great Northern War. In memory of the Battle of Poltava, the Belgorod region was awarded a banner with the image of an eagle in flight, which symbolized Russia, as well as a fleeing lion, which symbolized the defeat of Sweden. Here is another reminder of those times, the ancient Orthodox Cathedral of St. Nicholas. Peter the Great donated 100 rubles for its reconstruction. 
The peaceful history of Belgorod began in the 18th century. The city began its development, gradually losing the status of a fortress. It became a wealthy and peaceful merchant city, far from the turbulent events of the time. During the reign of Catherine the Great, a new Belgorod was built of stone, laid out as a grid, which saved it from further disastrous fires. At the time, Belgorod was also an important spiritual center. In the middle of the 18th century, Empress Elizabeth appointed St. Joseph as Archbishop of Belgorod and Obayan. He was canonized because of the many miracles he performed during his life and after his death. The place where Yosef's remains used to lie has now been reconstructed by scientists of Belgorod State University. The so-called Cave of Yosef was located at the wall of Holy Trinity Cathedral, which was destroyed during the Soviet period. Today, a new church has been built, along with the seat of the Belgorod Diocese. Before the revolution, there were about 20 churches in Belgorod, as well as those in the outskirts, and two monasteries. In the 19th century, the city became a large railway junction. Being a wealthy and quite large provincial town, Belgorod boasted the onion domes of its marvelous churches, as well as numerous old civic and public buildings, some of which have survived until today. This is Weinbaum's printing house on Grajdanskaya Avenue, and across the street is Smolinsky Cathedral, an architectural gem. The former Orion Cinema and grammar schools for boys and girls were a bit further down the street. Nowadays, the building of the former boys' school hosts the Department of Social Theology of Belsu. Opposite is the Cathedral of the Transfiguration, where St. Joseph's remains lie. Another historical building is the house of the merchant Selivanov, which is now the Museum of Literature. Some streets have historical names, like, for example, the main cathedral square. This is where the zero milestone is, where all roads from Belgorod begin. A bit further down the road is Museum Square. Here you can visit the local history museum, the art museum, and the diorama of the Battle of Kursk. This was the gateway to the city from the south. And this is where Staromaskovskaya, now Popov Street, begins, heading north. Andrei Popov was a 22-year-old tankman who took part in the liberation of Belgorod during the war. A memorial bust was erected at the intersection of the street, which now bears his name, and People's Boulevard. To commemorate the victory in the Battle of Kursk at Prokhorovka, a diorama was opened back in the 1980s called the Blazing Bulb. In honor of the liberation of Belgorod on the 5th of August 1943, the first victory salute was fired. Belgorod was also one of the first cities to receive the title of City of Military Glory. To commemorate that event, a monument was erected in the main square. And every year, on the 5th of August, a festive fireworks display celebrating Belgorod Liberation Day lights up the city streets. Though fate has made Belgorod a border town again, it little resembles the way it looked in the past. Today, it is a bustling and vibrant scent city with much to offer. Belgorod is a city of students. Apart from Belgorod State National Research University, which is the largest, there is also a technological, an agricultural, and a cooperative university, as well as an institute of arts and culture, a police academy, and a number of colleges. Belgorod is the hometown of the two-time Olympic champion Svetlana Khorkina. She was born and trained here. The sports complex, another unique Belsu facility, was built in her honor. It is a place where students study and train and offers physical activities to the whole community. There are many playing fields and courts for various sports and keep fit centers in the city. There are many fountains throughout the city,
including several with light displays and those that play music. An alley boasting plaques of Belgorod's twin cities testifies to its many international ties. The city is encircled by a network of highways. An international airport has recently been built in Belgorod. From above, it looks like a bird in flight. And this is where visitors to Belgorod arrive. They come, and then they come again and again. Bye bye. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like and share it. And if you have any questions, please put them down. We will see them. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us. You can also mail us. Related to Russia, MBBS study in abroad. You can also ask any questions from any country or any question from any admission. And if you want to direct us from any other thing, you can contact us on WhatsApp, mail, Facebook. And you can also talk to us on the phone. So you can also get the contact number in the description. Thank you so much.